Hey guys, uh, everyone wanted to see a video uh, ever since I did my K-Bar review uh, on this custom sheath. So I uh, figured I'd make a video review on it. Um, this one of course is made for the full size K-Bar 7 inch blade. Okay, so let me remove the knife here uh, and we'll talk about the sheath. Uh, first thing is when I got this, this sheath uh, brand new, it came uh, uh, actually wrapped up very nicely in this nice cloth and all this jute twine. It's actually a nice little surprise. What's really cool is that this, this whole setup here is really meant for uh, survival, outdoorsy kind of thing. And you can use these resources uh, for survival. Of course the jute twine can be used to make little birds nests and for fire starting. Of course you can take the strands apart and use it to, to lash things together if you wanted to. Uh, and the cloth itself, uh, you can use this for uh, medical purposes. You can uh, cut this into pieces and make char cloth with it. So it's just a nice little touch that came with the sheath. Um, all right, so this is of course made by Hedgehog Leatherworks. See, there's their maker stamp on the back there. And again, this is specifically made for the full size K bar knives. Now it doesn't matter what style knife, you know, they're all the same, uh, you know, overall shape and style for the large size. Again, seven inch blade. Um, the person who makes these, his name is Paul Scheider. He has his own YouTube account here, which is simply Hedgehog Leatherworks. Uh, I would highly recommend looking him up. Uh, very nice guy. Um, he also has his own videos here. He does some uh, some videos based around survival. Of course, he has a lot of experience in the field, and uh, you know he makes his his sheaths to uh, to comply with that. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about the the actual sheath itself. This one here is the the uh, full combo kit. Uh, you have the sheath that holds a knife, and you have two extras on here. Here is a uh, completely custom made fire steel for starting fires. It is a very, very thick ferrocium rod with a custom stacked leather handle. And now, now I have the uh, brown one here, uh, the brown sheath and everything else. So uh, someone had mentioned in my other video, it would be a lot, a lot better combination if, you got, if I had the stacked leather K-Bar for this. And I would agree. Um, if brown's not your thing, he also offers this whole setup here in black. So you have the option for brown or black. Uh, but anyway, you have the stacked leather uh, fire steel here. Nice and thick. Lasts a very long time. And then, uh, of course, I also have the added pocket. Okay, now this is just a multi-purpose pocket. Whatever you want to put in there would be fine. Uh, now, uh, first of all, another thing I like about the sheath quite a bit are these studs for the uh, attachment flaps. Um, first, you have the, the thumb flap, which covers the guard on the knife. So it's not going to come out. Let me put that blade back in and show you what I'm talking about. And it's a nice, nice snug fit here. Um, so you have this, this little stud here, and then of course the hole to put that flap over. And it's extremely secure. I mean, this thing is not going to, they're not going to accidentally open up on you. You're not going to lose any of your stuff in the pocket, or you're not going to lose your, your fire starter here, uh, or your knife. I mean, it's extremely secure. There's no way. I mean, I can't even... I can't even shake this thing hard enough to even begin to make it loose. Um, so it's extremely secure. The best feature on this entire product, which is really ingenious, is he used some shock cord here um, to actually support the back of this strap. What I mean is it keeps it open. When I pop this open, okay, it stays out because of that, that shock cord. Okay, It ke keeps it out of the way. So once you pop that strap open, you don't have to worry about getting hung up on your knife or blocking your guard. Once, it, once you pop that open, it stays out of the way. Uh, so you can get your knife in and out. I think that's a really, really ingenious uh, invention, really. I mean, I think any, any single sheet that has a very similar uh, system really should have this. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's a very, very cool idea. Very simplistic, but extremely, extremely functional. So again, the knife is extremely secure. You want to grab it, pop that open completely out of the way so you can remove your knife. So very cool. Um, and of course this stud system is on all three parts here uh, for the pocket as well. So the stud pops open and then you even have another strap here for more security. But inside the pocket it actually has sewn in a very very durable uh, piece of uh, like military grade nylon. And what this is for is that whatever items you put in your pocket you can put in the front of this strap okay and then push the, the item in and this actually helps you pull whatever you have in there like let's say if I had a uh, I don't know a little box of matches or something in there uh, instead of trying to dig in there and getting it because it could be a little awkward um, you just pull the strap and it pulls it out for you so 
another just very simple uh, detailed thing but extremely effective and a very smart uh, addition to the whole product so let me close that flap up here and of course you know you can put whatever you want in here uh, whatever you want to go with your your little survival situation I mean you could put in a, a very small medical kit in here you can put fire starting material in here your tinder anything like that um, you could put a small uh, sharpening stone you know whatever you want it's only limited to your imagination um, so this this sheath this whole sheath system is offered in three different uh, styles you have just the sheath itself okay just holds the knife you have the sheath and the fire starter or the sheath and just the pocket or the last or actually there's four options the last option of course is having uh, uh, the whole the whole combination here the sheath the fire steel and the pocket all together um, you have two straps here as I as you can see uh, these are for mounting you have a, a very heavy duty double snap two button snaps on the front um, so you can you know quick uh, detach or attach this to gear or your pack or even your belt if you want to that's on both sides so it's very secure you also have a very uh, very nicely done um, uh, screw head here uh, and kind of a grommet uh, so these are fully removable if you want to take these straps off completely that's fine if you want to you know, rig up some other kind of uh, system or if you didn't want to attach it to anything just wanted just the sheath maybe for storage uh, you have that option as well uh, you know I, I kid you guys not when I say that this is the nicest leather product I've ever had in my entire life I've dealt with you know being into knives for so long for let's see over over 15 years now um, I've had a lot of different leather sheaths for all different kinds of knives and uh, this is just the finest uh, very finest attention to detail uh, it's just beautifully done you cannot really get better craftsmanship than this as far as leather work goes it's really something else now I want to talk a little bit about how these sheaths are made um, these are completely handmade custom sheaths okay uh, Paul and his team make these by hand one at a time they're they're custom made he makes them to order uh, so when you order it he will start making it uh, it takes about uh, four weeks okay so if you put an order it's about a four week build time because there's a lot that goes into this uh, there's up to depending on you know what what combination you want there's up to 117 different steps individual steps this is literally from raw material all the way to what you see here so it is, it is very very involved um, and when it's all done there's a 38 point system check and that's what actually uh, you know he does for his quality control okay this way he can see you know alright well this sheath looks good but it's not completely done in his mind he's, he's very very adamant about putting out a perfect product uh, you can have a completely done sheath that took him you know three and a half weeks and maybe one of the stitchings off he'll actually recycle it he'll scrap it and and start over uh, because he wants to give out the very best product you can possibly give out and uh, you know they're not stamped up and sold until they're perfect in his eyes and really again just attention to detail and a very very good quality product um, he also has a very good warranty on these. He has a 25-year warranty. Okay, basically when you first purchase the product, uh, after it's built for you, it's sent out, and uh, you have 30 days to, uh, to look at the product and decide if you want to keep it or send it back. If you're unsatisfied with it for some reason, you can send it back. Uh, it just has to be in that original condition. You can't, you can't use it a bunch and then send it back. But initially, if you get the product and, and you say, well, you know, it's not really what I expected or, or whatever your reason is, uh, he'll take it back with no questions asked. Um, if you do want to decide to keep it because it is a superb product, um, you have 25 year warranty on it. Uh, and he expects these to be used. They're not really just, I mean, they, they make a beautiful you know, showpiece, but he expects people to actually take these out in the woods and beat them up and actually use them. I mean, not beat them on, on purpose, but they're gonna, they're gonna take uh, some abuse with use uh, over the years. Um, and for the next 25 years of owning this uh, product, if you ever have any problem, if any stitching ever gets loose or anything starts falling apart on you, you ship it back to him as soon as possible and he'll take care of you, uh, free of charge. Um, so it's a very, very good warranty on this. Uh, talk a little bit about price. Uh, everything said, I purposely left price to the end. This is not a, a super cheap product, um, but for good reason. You really are buying high quality. This is literally the highest quality leather work I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to advertise Paul's product here. I mean it from the heart. Um, now the price on this, they start at $139. Um, that's for $139, you're getting just the sheath and of course the straps here. Uh, if you want to 
have the fire steel on there, the you know the, the mount for it and the fire steel itself, uh, that's an extra fifty nine dollars. If you want just the sheath and just the pocket on there, no fire steel, uh, the pocket's an extra seventy six bucks. Now, if you want the whole setup here, the pocket and the fire steel combination, that's an extra hundred nine dollars. Um, so what you're looking at right here, the whole kit and caboodle, um, you know, both the fire steel and the pocket and the sheath combination, uh, that's two forty eight plus shipping. Now, I know some of you guys are scratching your head. Well, it's a little bit, a little bit much for a sheath. Uh, I'm telling you guys, it wor it, it's worth it. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. It is, uh, it's definitely worth the money. If you can afford this, I would say don't hesitate. If you're you know, an outdoorsman and you really need a good sheath that's going to hold up and you like this setup, uh, definitely don't hesitate. Buy it while you, you can. Now, I kind of figured that out. Um, again, it sounds kind of expensive, but at 250 bucks for 25 years, this costs you uh, less than two cents a day, so uh, it's worth it in my opinion. If you, uh, like I said, if you're gonna buy this and, and really use it, uh, it's definitely, definitely worth the price. And like I said, it is completely handmade, completely custom, no factory, no machines. It's just uh, a couple people's, uh, you know, workmanship really, and they, they put a lot of uh, time and effort into these uh, these sheaths, and they are definitely worth it. Um, so again, if you want to uh, get more information, I would uh, check out Paul's website. It's uh, hedgehogleatherworks.com. He makes uh, a couple different sheaths for uh, a select uh, amount of knives. Um, I believe the Topps uh, Tom Brown Tracker, he makes a sheath for that, uh, and a couple other ones. Uh, as far as uh, different work for maybe other knives, again, I would just uh, contact, um, contact Paul and uh, ask him if you have any questions. Uh, his email can be found at the website uh, or you know here on YouTube. Again, Hedgehog Leatherworks. Just search for it on YouTube. He has uh, you know his own channel here. You can contact him through YouTube as well. Um, so I thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, always appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.